Okay, we're here at part three. <laughs> we're going to finish this off somehow. Change this thing. Yeah, it's 2018. Celebrate it. That looks cool. Okay, cool. Positivity always wins. I like it. All right, so um, now your spiritual life, you know. Do you have a spiritual life? You know, when you think about your relationship in your spiritual life, this is part three, so you need to go back to part two and part one um, in the videos before this if you've just arrived at the last minute. So where are you in your spiritual life? You know, pride, anger, desire, grief, hatred, blame, shame. Is that where you are in your spiritual life? I mean, that could be your horrible horrible emotions to be in in your spiritual life. You know, you could be part of a religious group and, you know, religious church or, um, which I'm saying, not saying there's anything wrong with that. That's your choice, whatever it is you are a part of. And that you are dwelling in these emotions a lot. Shame, blame, hatred, grief, desire, and anger and pride. Well, the question you can ask yourself is what would it take for me to bring more love, joy, and peace into my spiritual life? What would it take for me to bring more love, joy, and peace into my spiritual life? Because it can be easy to get caught up in a, um, a group, a spiritual group, a, relation, a religious group. And you can be dwelling in these emotions a lot. There can be a lot of gossip. There can be a lot of rivalry. There can be a lot of anger. And you think to yourself, well, if this is a spiritual path, surely I should be up here in the peace, joy, and love domain. But if you're down and you're stuck here, um, it's what it's saying is what you can do, you know, other than paying a lot of money to work with a really awesome therapist like me, um, is you could just start engaging, shifting your focus. What would it take to have more peace, joy, and love in my spiritual life? What would it take for me to have more peace, joy, and love in my spiritual life? What would it take? What would it take? What would it take? What could I do? And that may involve you leaving that particular religious group or spiritual group, which is causing you to dwell on these emotions, maybe, or it could involve you actively shifting that group so that they engage, that first you make the change in yourself, and then obviously you can... Once, you, once you're living in more peace, joy, and love, then you can start emanating that into the outside world. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. And then your home environment, you know, what would it take? Now you look at your home, you know, are you really happy with your home? What are the emotions that come up when you look at your home? Shame, blame, hatred, grief, desire, anger, pride, you know, when you look at your home and you look at your room, you look at your garage, is it a mess? Is it cluttered? Is it full of light? Is it freshly painted? Is it, um, you know, is it just a, a dump? Are you living in a really horrible, horrible uh, street where there's a lot of negativity going on, you know, and a lot of hatred and anger going on? Then you could say, what would it take to bring more peace, joy, and love into my home environment? What would it take? What would it take to bring more peace, joy, and love into my home environment? So that could involve repainting a room. It could involve, you know, getting a skip bin from the council, a big one of those big rubbish bins, and... and obviously just getting rid of all the junk and saying, you know, putting it into three piles. You know, first pile is to give away, second pile is to throw in the bin, and the third pile is to keep and go from there. And, you know, what would it take to bring more peace, joy, and love to your, to your environment? So generally, less clutter, um, and then you're more focused on the items in your clothing and in your house, which bring you a lot of value, a lot of joy, a lot of love. And you're not looking at all those, those items that you don't really need anymore that were something you bought years and years ago, which is in the wrong place, it needs to be given away or thrown away. Um, so what would it take to bring more love and joy and peace to your home? Now your home is really, all of these are very important. Your home is crucially important because that's obviously where you start your day. And that's where you, you know, you, re, you retreat back home every night after going to work or whatever, whatever. And that can be a place of nurturing and healing and rejuvenation, or it can be a place of all these. Yeah. So if you're engaging in these a lot of emotion, these emotions at home, shame, blame, hatred, grief, desire, and anger, and you know, I guess these four, shame, blame, hatred, and grief at home, look at your environment and ask, what would it take for me to bring more peace, joy, and love into my home? What would it take? Would it be a new TV? Big, fat, 60-inch flat screen. Would it be a big poster that says, you can do it? Would it be a big love heart painted on the wall? Would it be painting your whole house pink? I don't know. What would it do? What would it take for you to bring more peace, joy, and love into your home environment? So what I guess what I'm doing here is I'm saying, we're going through your life and we're dissecting and going, you know, where are these emotions in your life on a consistent basis? Yeah? Where are these horrible, heavy emotions on a consistent basis? Yeah? And what would it take, asking the question, what would it take to bring more 
peace, joy, and love into these things. Because when you've got more peace, joy, and love, you're in these higher, lighter emotions. You're happier. You're feeling good about yourself. You're feeling good about others. You've got more to give the world. You've got more to offer the world. You're no longer so selfish. You're no longer just looking after you. But you're, you're in a space where you can bring... You, you're in a space where the healing emotions of peace, joy, and love are overflowing in all aspects of your life. And you've caught those little... You know, sometimes we get little stuck areas in our life where we're doing so well in some areas, but we're really stuck. We've got, you know, a few of these emotions running down. And it's like, you know, when you turn the light on, a focus on a particular area of your life, and you say, you know what, maybe my self-image could be improved. Maybe I could be more love, joy, and peace to that. Then it's going to, you know, it's obviously like shining a light, focused on that. You're sending your energy, you're sending your intention to that, and then you can begin to shift it. Yeah, it's like a laser focus in your personal self-healing as opposed to just having a scattered approach of feeling overwhelmed and thinking, I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know what's wrong with my life. I don't know what's wrong with my place in the world. Yeah, that can that is what can happen when all these heavy, heavy emotions are just overwhelming you in all these. Yeah, that's what can happen. You can just, you know, be staring at the abyss going, I don't know what I did wrong with my life. But what you can do is you can go, you can go back and you can find and go, you know, where am I at in all the different areas of my life in terms of these heavy, heavy emotions, especially these four. Yeah. Go and intentionally bring peace, joy, and love. Replace those emotions here. You can do it. It's quite easy. It starts with changing the focus. What would it take? And you can even set goals. Set goals, you know. What would it take for me to bring more love, joy, and peace into my home? What would it take for me to totally transform my home and make it a place of complete love, joy, and peace? What would it take? And then you keep asking that question day in, day out, and write down the answers that come to you. You might be driving your car and you think, you know what? I need to sell my house. I need to move. Or it could be, I need to move close to the ocean. Um, what would it take? What would it take to bring more love, joy, and peace into my business? You know, maybe you could treat your customers a bit better. Maybe you can give more to them. Maybe you can, um, you know, give them some free stuff, some bonus stuff. What would it take to bring more love, joy, and peace into my relationships? I mean, maybe you can take, you know, praise your partner more. Praise your children more. Praise your siblings more. Praise your parents more. Be more grateful and thankful to them. Yeah. Cool. All right. So here we are, the emotional scale. It's, I could call it a Roger scale, but it's, you know, obviously I've learned this somewhere else. And I just wanted to give you that value today. Because it's all about giving and giving and giving value. Because my commitment, my personal commitment is I want the world to be filled more with peace, joy, and love. That's what I want the world to be peace filled with, is peace, joy, and love. Because that makes the world a better place. So by helping you, guiding you to let go of these heavy emotions in your life, I'm going to bring more peace, joy, and love to the world. The world as a whole is going to be a better place. People are going to be happier. It's going to spread. You know, the more you can bring fill your life with peace, joy, and love, the more it's going to affect your family, your parents, your children, your co-workers, your work environment. It's going to affect the world. So this little video has tremendous potential to leverage throughout the whole world. So, you know, it's your choice. You can share it if you want. Share the joy, share the love, share the peace. Um, and maybe you can, you know, help some other people. Like it's three really, really long videos. Um, that's a good thing about doing a Facebook Live is it, is it makes me talk more. Whereas with other videos, I'm just trying to talk as le less as I can. So this is Roger. Thank you for checking into The Roger Show inspirational thank you so much i really wish you love joy and peace today in everything you do and i'm going to say that i have lived my life in these emotions a lot <laughs> and and they're really not you know the more you study in psychology in self-help you know in, across all the fields of spiritual disciplines the more you understand that these emotions just really don't help you and the more you can dwell in peace joy and love in every area of your life the happier you're going to be the more productive you're going to be and you're just going to be on task. You're just going to produce wonderful children. Your, your partner's going to be happy. He or she's going to be out doing what they're doing. Um, you're going to have a wonderful home environment. You're just going to be happy all the time. And when you're happy all the time and you're feeling light all the time, you can lift others up. I mean, that's as simple as it gets. You can really lift other people up um, by how you are and how you show up in the world and how you present yourself to the world. This is Roger McDonald. Have a fantastic day. Thank you for tuning in. You got any questions? Send me a message. Have an awesome day. Thank you.